Hi friends, and thank you for joining us for story time with the Fond du Lac Public Library. My name is Miss Katie, and today I'm going to do story time a little differently. I want to draw you a story. And it's kind of like show and tell. When you do show and tell at school and you bring something and you tell everyone about what you brought and then you get to show them. Except this is called draw and tell. I'm going to do a draw and tell story for you where I draw the picture and then I tell you the story. Okay? Now, raise your hand if you like pizza. Oh, I, I really like pizza. I'm going to raise both my hands. Yeah. And we're going to read or listen to a story about a pizza delivery person. And my story is called The Pizza Peddler. Can you say that? Say Pizza Peddler. Good. Do you know what a peddler is? A peddler is someone who sells something from place to place, like a salesperson. Uh, or a peddler can be someone who delivers things like when the mail carrier delivers your packages from Amazon. The mail carrier is peddling. So what do you think a pizza peddler does? Delivers pizza, yeah. All right, let's get started. I'm gonna grab my marker and get ready, okay? Okay, Johnny, here you go. One deluxe pizza with everything on it. Ready in the box, piping hot. Now, you need to deliver it to 16 Park, and then you can go home. No more deliveries today. Johnny jumped on his bike and headed off down the street toward Park Circle. Okay, there he goes driving. He'd be finished early, and that was good, because his mom had told him they were expecting company for dinner. Johnny arrived at Park Circle and rode his delivery bike up to door number 16, right there. There must be some mistake, the lady told him. I didn't order a pizza, and I don't like deluxe. Maybe you were supposed to deliver it to 60, not 16. That's on the other side of the circle. People often get them mixed up. So Johnny rode around the circle to 60 Park Circle. But they didn't order the pizza either. Could it be Park Place that you're looking for? The white-haired man at number 60 suggested. There's a park place right off Turner Street. When Johnny went back outside, his bike had a flat tire. Oh, great, he muttered. I'll have to push it home and I'll get it pumped up. Oh, no, wait, I can't. Michael borrowed my pump. That's right. Hmm. So Johnny pushed his bike with the flat tire as fast as he could down the street to Michael's house. While he and Michael were pumping up the tire, Michael's little sister came into the garage. You guys better hurry, she said, or you'll miss the party. Michael frowned at her and said, But Johnny didn't have time to worry about a party right then. He had to get that pizza to number 16, or was it 60? Whatever, on Park Place. Oh, now he was so confused. He jumped on his bike, now with a pumped up tire, and rode away. He turned left on Seton Street, right onto Division Street, and then left again on Turner Street. Finally, he arrived at 16 Park Place. But a little girl answered the door and she said, we already had our supper. We had yummy spaghetti. Oh, if you like spaghetti, we'll like this. Yeah, spaghetti. 
spaghetti is great. Oh, Johnny must have had the wrong address again. It must be 60. Okay, try again. Johnny rode around to number 60. It's about time, the woman snapped when she answered the door. She opened the box and peered in. Well, it's freezing cold now, she declared. I hope you don't expect me to pay for this. And she shut the door. Johnny turned around and his bike was gone. Oh, what a disaster, he moaned. I got the wrong park address. I get a flat tire. My best friend is going to a party without me. I have to pay for this yucky deluxe pizza that I don't even like out of my own pocket. And now this. This is a terrible day. I'll have to stop at the police station and tell them about my stolen bike. Luckily, the police station was very close by, right over here on Breeze Street. Oh, Johnny walked the long way home. When he finally arrived, the house was all dark. Johnny's house and it was all dark. Everyone probably moved away and left me behind, he thought. He unlocked the door and went in the house. As soon as he closed the door behind him, the lights came on. Surprise! Happy birthday, Johnny! Everyone yelled. Even though it had been a rotten afternoon, Johnny had a great time at the party. All of his friends were there, including Michael. And there was a delicious pepperoni pizza for supper, which is good. It wasn't deluxe. Johnny did not like that deluxe pizza. And he had chocolate cake, too. And there were birthday presents for Johnny. Oh. When all the presents were opened, Johnny's dad came out of the, into the living room and lugged in a big box covered with ribbon. Johnny started to open the box, but his mom said, you have to turn it around, dear. Johnny took off all the wrapping paper and all the ribbons and turned the box over. What was inside? A bike bicycle. Johnny got a new bicycle for his birthday, and it even had a special rack in the back for him to carry his pizzas when he was working. How cool is that? Oh, so did you know what I was drawing when I was telling you my story? I used the pizzas to make the wheels of my bike and then I used the other parts for the map of my story where Johnny was riding his bike and for all the houses. Pretty cool, right? Would you like to learn how to draw a bike like I did? Okay, great. You need a piece of paper and you need something to draw with. Grab a pencil or a pen or a marker and you can pause the video and come right back and I will show you how to draw. Okay, are you ready to draw? Great. We're going to draw the bike upside down like I drew with my story. And then maybe you can quiz mom or dad or your brother and sister or your neighbor or your friend and you can see if they can guess what you're drawing even when it's upside down. Okay, we'll start by drawing the bike's tire or the wheel. So we make a circle. And remember in the story it was a pizza we were drawing. So we need to make a line down the middle up and down and then two diagonal lines to make it look like a pizza. Good job. And remember if you need to pause the video at any time to catch up you are welcome to do so. Okay now the next part of our story oh I remember Johnny was driving to the address so we're going to start a little bit underneath the middle part 
and we're going to make a curved line. There. And my curved line stops right about in the middle of my tire. Very good. This is gonna be part of the bike's frame. Now we need to make the pedals. So we'll make a little circle, kind of coming off the end here. A little circle like that. This was the part of the story where Johnny was at Park Circle and he went to number 16 and that wasn't right. So then he went around again and tried number 60. <clears throat> so we're gonna make a little line on the top and then a rectangle for one of the houses, but it's really a petal. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side of the circle. So on the bottom, draw a little line and then a rectangle. Very nice. Okay, what happened next? Oh, I think Johnny went this way on his bike. So we're going to make another curved line like that. Kind of the same. Good, good, good. And then at the end, we put a house, a rectangle. Because what happened now? Oh, Johnny got a flat tire. So do you remember where he had to go? To his friend Michael's. So at the end of this road, we're going to draw a rectangle. That'll be Michael's house. All right, and then we went back and made a line like that. And then Johnny was driving all over town, so we made a big straight line going this way. And then we made another line going up and down like that. Then we had to make the handlebars of the bike. This was, I think he was going to check houses with his pizza again to see if he could make his delivery. We're going to make kind of a curved line. See it's a little bit curved. And at the end we'll make another rectangle. That'll be like the grip of your handlebars. And then we're going to do the same thing over here, except this curved line is going to go down. And another rectangle. You're doing great. All right, and then I believe, oh, I think this is when something really important happened to Johnny's bike. Do you remember? It was stolen! Oh no, so where did he have to go? To the police station, which was right around the corner. So for our police station, we're going to go down, or I guess up from the handlebars a little, and make a line that goes out. And then we'll make a rectangle, and a line that goes in. This could be your bike's horn, or the light in front of your bike. And then what happened next in our story? After he went to the police station, told them his bike was stolen, he had to walk home, right? Oh my goodness, so I remember he had to go down all these roads and by the time he got to the end here, we make a little line going up and down and then we have to draw Johnny's house, which is a big rectangle like that. And was it, were the lights on or was it dark in Johnny's house when he got home? It was very dark because they were gonna surprise him. So we can color that in. This will be the bike's seat. There. And did Johnny have fun at his party? Yes, he did. Do you remember what they got to eat at the party? Oh, I remember the chocolate cake and the pizza. All right, so we need to make another pizza here, another wheel. We'll draw a circle. And we're making another pizza, so we need to make the lines. 
So we'll do one in the middle going across, up and down, and then two diagonal. Very nice. We're almost done. Do you remember what Johnny's mom and dad got him as a present for his birthday? I know it was a bike, but they brought out a big box full of ribbons. We're going to draw that box kind of on top of this, the edge of the seat here. We're going to make a rectangle. And then when I do my ribbon decorations on the box, I'm going to make zigzags in my box like that. Very good. And now you can astound your audience, turn over your whiteboard, and show them the bike you just drew. Nice job. All right, you did great. You could always add some detail. You could add some grass. Maybe Johnny's riding on the grass now. You could add the light or the noise from the horn, just some lines. You could add a background, maybe some clouds. Maybe it's a beautiful day and you want to add the sun. Add some details to your picture. And for those of you who like a traditional story at story time, I have one just for you to read. And it is called Duck on a Bike. And I think I'll move forward a little bit so you can see. Duck on a Bike by David Shannon. Duck on a Bike. One day down on the farm, Duck got a wild idea. I bet I could ride a bike, he thought. He waddled over to where the boy parked his bike, climbed on, and began to ride. At first he rode very slowly, and he wobbled a lot, but it was fun. Kind of looks like that bike. Duck rode past Cow and waved to her. Hello, Cow, Duck said. Moo, said Cow. But what she really thought was a duck on a bike? That is the silliest thing I've ever seen. Then Duck rode past Sheep. Hello, Sheep, said Duck. And what did Sheep say? Do your best Sheep impression. Bah, said Sheep. But what she thought was, he's going to hurt himself if he's not careful. Duck was riding better now. He rode past Dog. Hello, Dog, said Duck. And what did Dog say? Woof, woof, said Dog. But what he thought was, that is a mighty neat trick. Then Duck rode past, oh, what is this? Cat. Hello, cat, said Duck. What do cats say? Do your best cat impression. Meow, said Cat. But what she thought was, I wouldn't waste my time riding a bike. There he goes. Wonder what Duck will see next. <gasps> Duck pedaled a little faster. He rode past horse. Hello, horse, said Duck. What do, duck, or what do horses say? Nay, said horse. But what he thought was, you're still not as fast as me, Duck. Because horses run really fast, right? Oh boy. Duck rang his bell as he ran, rode toward chicken. Hello, chicken, said Duck. Chickens say, cluck, cluck, cluck. But what she really thought was, watch where you're going, duck. Oh, and she does look nervous. Then duck rode past goat. And what do you think duck said? Do it with me. Hello, goat. And what did goat say? Meh, said goat. But what he thought was, hmm. I'd like to eat that bike. Duck stood on the seat. Oh, that's a crazy trick. 
and rode past pig and pig. Hello, pigs, said duck. And what do pigs say? <coughs> said pig and pig. But what they thought was, duck is such a show off. Then duck rode no hands past mouse. Have you ever done that? Oh my gosh, it's so scary. Hello, mouse, said duck. And mice say, squeak, squeak, squeak. But what he really thought was, I wish I could ride a bike just like duck. Suddenly, a whole bunch of kids came down the road on bikes. And look at these kids. I see they're all wearing their helmets, which is a great idea. Remember to wear your helmet. They were in such a hurry, they didn't even see Duck. They parked their bikes by the house and went inside. I don't see Duck either, do you? Oh, look at all these animals looking at the bike. What do you think they're going to do? Now all the animals had bikes. They rode around and around the barnyard. This is fun, they all said. Good idea, duck. Oh, look, the pigs even have a tandem bike so two people can ride. Oh, and look, I see a tricycle for the chicken because the chicken's a bit smaller than everyone else. Needs a smaller bike. Oh my goodness, I see the dog and the cat. Then they put the bikes back by the house, and no one knew that on that afternoon there had been a cow, a sheep, a dog and a cat, a horse, a chicken, a goat, two pigs, a mouse, and a duck on a bike. The end. All right, that's the end of my story time. Thank you guys so much for joining me. And I hope you did a, you're satisfied with your drawing. And now if it's nice out, put your helmet on and go ride your bike.